Hey, Tim Frisch with a Frisch Perspective. In my last video, I talked about John MacArthur's, I guess what you would call mic drop moment, where he began his church service yesterday, welcoming everyone to the Grace Community Church peaceful protest. <laughs> and of course, that is making a lot of buzz as Grace Community Church stands against the restrictions of the California government right now on church gatherings inside of buildings, Grace Community Church is meeting. I've been talking about that in various videos, and I did a quick video yesterday talking about that and why people look up to John MacArthur, and some people don't like him because of these very things, him taking stands like this. But uh, I wanted in this video just to follow up a little bit more with that and talk about some other things he said in the opening of the church service. So let me start it right here for you to see. You can, huh. Are you glad to be here? I think so. Everything for us based on the Word of God, right? And uh, that means we are pro-life, pro-family, pro-law and order, and pro-church of the Lord Jesus Christ. So after welcoming everyone to the peaceful protest, he uh, then talks about how they as a church believe the Bible, that they're pro-life, they're pro-family, they're pro-law and order, and pro-church of the Lord Jesus Christ. So he, he hits on a lot of hot-button topics very quickly there, taking a stand for what they believe in. But then, as if all of that didn't make enough of a statement, he invites a chaplain from the LAPD Police Department to come and pray for the church. This morning, we have a very special privilege. Chaplain Morehouse from the LAPD is going to come and lead us in our opening prayer. So in this opening of the church service yesterday, there are two really clever things that I see here that really make powerful statements, actually. The first has to do with peaceful protests, because the government in California has, at least to some degree, allowed peaceful protests in California. And so here they are saying that they are having a peaceful protest. And then the other really clever thing here and powerful is to have a representative of the law enforcement a chaplain from the LAPD, which is interesting because it's the LA law that they're protesting here and they have a representative from that law enforcement department coming. Also, police right now in America are under a lot of scrutiny and have even faced a lot of scorn. So it's just so fitting that they're making this statement for their church, for where they live, and really for what's going in the country by having a police officer from the chaplaincy of the LAPD come up and pray for the church. So these are two things about this opening that I just thought, wow, this is really brilliant. Talk about a lesson in optics. Now, I realize some people may strongly disagree with what he's doing here, but again, this is what causes people to look up to someone like him as a leader. He's willing to make statements, he's willing to take a stand, and do things that will cause shockwaves if he believes it's necessary. So I just wanted to do a little bit of a follow-up video talking more about that opening. But as I said, I do plan to do a video talking about Grace Community Church's legal defense that they're going to put forward in relation to the California government's restrictions on church meetings. And so I will look at that in my next video, so stay tuned for that. Those are some thoughts I wanted to share. I'd love to hear what you think in the comments. And as always, thank you for listening to what I have to say from a fresh perspective.